Today we're checking out the new Eufy Video Doorbell by Anchor, featuring 2K resolution, HDR, free local storage with no monthly fees, human detection, and a whole lot more. And we'll be comparing it versus the Ring 2, a similar and popular device, yet costs more and has those monthly recurring fees. So I'll be testing the two and see which one is more bang for your buck. Huge thanks to Anchor for sponsoring today's video. I'm Ben from Authentech, and let's jump right in. Starting with the Eufy doorbell, it's currently priced at $159 on Amazon Prime. For comparison, the Ring 2 is currently $200 and that's not including the monthly fees. I'll break those down later. As always, all the links will be down in the video description. Installation and setup on these video doorbells are mostly the same. You connect the wires or adapters if needed in your chime, remove your existing doorbell from the wall, attach the new one, sometimes new holes will need to be made, one thing worth mentioning, I like the thinner design of the Eufy doorbell, comparing it to the ring which feels a bit too wide and chunky, sort of a dated design. For some people, they'll need to attach their doorbell to a thinner piece of wood trim, and a wider device just won't fit. This is something to keep in mind with your door setup. Now one thing that the Ring 2 has over the Eufy is a rechargeable battery pack, which is nice for some people if they don't have it pre-wired for power or you want to place it in a unique spot. Eufy is working on a battery powered model and that should be releasing down the road, stay tuned for that. As nice as battery powered is, there are some cons to it, I'll touch on those in a bit. Back to the install, after attaching the Eufy to the wall, screwing in the wires, their app guides you through the rest of the steps. After connecting it to your home Wi-Fi, the final step is setting up the free wireless electronic chime that's included in the kit. What's nice is that this wireless chime can be placed anywhere in the home, plus you can link up to four chimes simultaneously. This way you can be sure you don't miss the doorbell ring wherever you're at. Also on the chime, there's different volume settings and the loudest one gets pretty loud. Plus, we can adjust the ringtones on the chime as well, and there's some fun and alerting options in there which is great to hear. One complaint I have is the Eufy doorbell does not support the use of your pre-existing chime, digital or mechanical. They said they took a different approach when powering their doorbell. Thankfully, not a deal breaker in my opinion since the wireless chime is included for free. Plus, we can place it anywhere in the home. Plus, we can add more on if we want. Back to the chime setup, you simply plug it into any outlet, press the sync button, and that's it, we're good to go. So let's cover some of the key features on the Eufy doorbell and how it compares to the Ring 2. First up, motion detection and alert frequency. It's a key feature on any smart doorbell. The Eufy doorbell has a 160 degree ultra wide angle field of view. Plus when using that helpful wedge that's included in the box, I was able to view almost my entire front patio. And this is great from a security perspective. Another key feature of any doorbell is the video sharpness, quality, resolution, and high dynamic range. After all, a pretty low res blurry video doorbell is pretty useless. The Eufy features a 2K Ultra HD cam that's 2560 by 1920 resolution. The Ring 2 is only 1080p HD and its field of view looks pretty same about 160 degrees horizontal. One more point to add about HDR. Most front door scenarios have a very bright backlit with skies and then low light shadows with the eaves and side walls. It's in these tough lighting situations when HDR or high dynamic range in the camera is truly needed. This allows us to see the visitor's face clearly from that perspective. This is a video and audio test on the Eufy doorbell. This is HDR on. And this is a video quality test of the Eufy doorbell with HDR turned off. How does it look and how does the audio sound? This is a video and audio test on the Ring 2. This is with HDR turned on. How does it look? And this is a video quality test on the Ring 2 with HDR turned off. How does it look? Here's a fun experiment I tried. With both doorbells set up right next to each other, I walked up to the front door and here's some sample clips. 
So here's what I noticed. The Eufy seemed to be fast and consistent with notifications, whether it was motion or the bell was triggered, and just as important, fast and consistently in pulling up the live video feed on my phone. Now I tried multiple tests connecting to my home Wi-Fi, then on mobile data, LTE, to see if that would make a difference, and it all seemed like the Eufy always performed fast and responsive, which I think is a huge feature to consider. As for the ring, well, sometimes it worked okay. but then a lot of other times I was having delays upon delays, problems with just pulling up the video feed no matter what I tried. This is sort of a bummer when you pay a lot of money for a security camera device and the video won't even load for you. And I know I'm not alone in this as I look through all those Amazon reviews, there's a lot of people complaining about this exact issue, slow loading on the ring. I like to think of this scenario, what if I had a really expensive package that needed a signature or attention and the delivery guy is just waiting at my front door, the doorbell camera won't load on my phone and then I end up missing the package, this would be quite the disappointment. One other con of the ring to keep in mind, both cameras we can set the motion frequency and sensitivity, which is nice, but then when running on battery life only, it will drastically drain your battery and to me, it's not worth missing an important event. So hardwired is my preferred option. My thoughts when comparing the two cameras. I like the ultra wide angle field of view on both cameras. This again is very important so you can see any person or suspicious activity from almost any angle. Sadly, neither camera could see down far enough like if I had a package that was left at my front door. However, Eufy uses this four by three aspect ratio to offer a larger viewable area from top to bottom versus the standard 16 by nine. In these side-by-side -side examples versus the ring, we can see just how much more ground the Eufy actually captures. Plus, maybe at your front door setup, the Eufy would be able to see far down enough for the packages. The Eufy also supports distortion correction, which helps to remove those curved edges effect. It's a nice feature to have. I also ran a low light and night vision camera comparison test, once with the patio lights on, and then another with the exterior lights turned off, and we can clearly see the difference. I'd say in both of these low light tests, the Eufy comes out on top with quality, sharpness, resolution, and even the night vision clarity. One of my favorite features of the Eufy and why I could see myself recommending it to friends and family who might be in the market for a video doorbell is the no hidden fees of a monthly or yearly subscription. They worked around this by putting inside the Eufy doorbell four gigs of onboard storage. And it's on here where it stores your video clips locally. So no monthly fees for cloud storage. Storage. Whenever you need to save a video clip to your phone, it's as easy as watching live and then hitting the record video or photo shutter button, or the events playback viewer makes it easy to find the clip or person you're looking for and then download it straight to your phone. While on the subject of events and playback, I like the emphasis Eufy's made on facial recognition and snapshot notifications. A couple examples here, like when I slide down in the notification tray, the Eufy app not only shows me a screenshot of what the camera's captured, but if it's facial detection, it'll auto zoom in on that person's face so I can clearly see who it is and the action I should take. And another example under the events viewer, it shows the zoomed up face snapshot that the camera was able to capture in that clip and then you can enlarge that shot as well. It's these little details that I appreciate. If we compare and look how the ring notifications pop up, well for me it's this long list of the same message and a long press doesn't even reveal a snapshot of the video. Some of the other key features the Eufy has, you can speak directly to anyone who's at your front door via the two-way audio chat. Let's live, authentic. Let's live authentic. I also like the canned voice responses. They sound like this. Excuse me, can I help you? Please leave it at the door. We will be right there. And you can even record your own custom quick responses and playback for anyone at the door, snarky or serious. Hey, how's it going? Please leave a message after the beep. No scammers, please. Thank you. There's smart detection zones which allow you to customize the areas in which you want the camera to detect motion. And this is perfect for when your front door faces a busy street or sidewalk 
or maybe there's other objects that you wanna paint out of the motion detection zone. This way you only receive alerts that you care about. We can turn on or off the indoor chime. Under video quality, we can tweak more camera settings like modify your streaming quality based upon your Wi-Fi bandwidth and data consumption needs. Recording quality is nice, set it higher for that crispy 2K resolution or save on storage and have smaller file sizes if you'd like to keep as much past history on that local storage as possible. And one more big feature I like to see, the Eufy doorbell connects with both Amazon Alexa and Google Home. And I have just one wishlist item and that is I wish the Eufy doorbell had expandable memory. Currently at this time, it's just four gigs, which thankfully works perfectly fine. It'll store plenty of clips for you, giving you ample time to download any important events that you wanna save and back up forever. However, it would be an awesome feature if it had expandable memory. So we could pop in say a 64 or 128 gig micro SD card, let me turn on 24 seven loop video recording, and then this way it's continuously capturing anything and everything. It's a just in case for that little extra peace of mind. For the average user out there, this feature isn't needed. It would just be a sweet little cherry on top for me. So here's how it breaks down. The Eufy doorbell is getting 2K HDR video, ultra wide and tall aspect ratio, a free wireless electronic chime included. It's weatherproof and has human detection, facial snapshot notifications, activity zones and pre-recorded responses, two-way talk, local storage with no hidden monthly fees, all of this for 160 bucks on Amazon Prime, or in comparison to the Ring 2, starting at $200. However, after that 30-day trial, if you wanna view any past events or saved clips, it's gonna cost you a subscription fee at minimum $30 a year or up to 100 bucks a year. All I have to say is I think the Eufy doorbell is a pretty sweet deal. And if you wanna check out more info and pricing, I'll give you all the links down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and consider getting notified on my future tech reviews. Until next time, stay snazzy.